religiously on Wait A Minute. Organising a weight loss documentary wasn't easy. One day of prepping, planning, shooting, editing and even some pranks burns a lot of fat. But with passion, dedication, blood, sweat and laughter and even a limited budget, our documentary was finally coming to life. Are you ready for this walk? Yes, let's do this. Oh, that's cool. Uh, how's it? You haven't even started, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm already dead. <laughs> well, I need a friend. That's the most annoying part about running. My fat keeps bouncing everywhere. It's not cool, dude. <laughs> Welcome to Wham News in a Minute. On the news today, Pedro has finally taken his measurements. Next, we will show you a slideshow of his measurements. Driving home all morning, it's clear I'm not turning back. Scientific fact. While the chances of being struck by a meteor are extremely slim, there have been a number of reported cases. In June, in June, in June 21st, 1994, Jose Martin of Spain was driving with his wife near Madrid when he was struck by a 3 pound 1.4 kilogram meteor. The meteor crashed through his windshield, vent the steering and ended up in his back seat. Martin suffered a broken bone and his wife was injured. Closer to home, Serginho had a similar experience. <laughs> News from the Olympics 2012. South Africa has taken another three gold medals, but unfortunately was stopped by security. And now, we go over to our field reporter, Sergio, who is interviewing the Tulas in regards to Pedro dieting skills. Yeah. Alright, uh, first of all, thank you for doing this interview with us. Could you please just explain to the audience exactly who you are? Okay, my name is David Barbosa, I'm Pedro Barbosa's brother. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> um, we've talked a little bit about what we're doing, uh, so what do you think about uh, this documentary type that we're busy with? Well, I think it's a good idea, a good plan. Um, I definitely think that obesity is an issue and that uh, if you guys manage to conquer it, I mean, 
You should open people's eyes up there, for sure. Oh, fantastic. And uh, you know your brother well, obviously he's your brother. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of his personality, his willpower, do you think he'll be able to do this? Well, what are your thoughts? I definitely do think he will be able to do it, as long as he's got somebody behind him, nailing him every single day on you know, doing the task every day. Yeah, true. And uh, penultimately, uh, also, uh, what's your wife's bra size? Uh, let me just go check quickly. <laughs> 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 no, um, alright, uh, would you like to give your brother any messages, anything you want to say to him? Yeah, I would like to say good luck, uh, you can definitely do it, um, if you ever need any help with anything, don't waste any time and just contact me or Nikita, we'll be able to help you anytime on that, alright. Thanks man. Thanks, we appreciate it. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sergio, for that wonderful interview. That is all for today. Me, Frederico Barbarossa, reporting for WAM News. Have a good evening. Thank you and good night.